What's up, y'all? This is Monday's Mean Business, and today we're going to answer the question, is your registered agent really that important? Check it out. What's up, y'all? My name is Saluto Uba, and I am the entrepreneur lawyer, as well as the founder of the Uba Law Group. We're a law firm that focuses on business formation and intellectual property to help you save money on taxes, attract quality clients, and protect your assets. Now, today we're going to answer the question, is my registered agent really that important? And so when I hear that question, I have a couple of responses. My first response is, do you want everybody knowing everything about your business? Do you want people knowing where you live? Do you want people knowing uh, your, your work address, your, your home personal information? Do you want people to be able to use that information and track all of your other assets and companies that you might own? Yeah, the answer is typically no. People typically don't want that information out there. So that's my first point. Your registered agent is paramount, super duper important if you want privacy, which is one of the greatest protections that you will need as a business owner. Um, so if you didn't know, the registered agent is your business's representative to the state of whatever state that your LLC is formed in. So whenever there's official correspondence or documents or anything like that, or if your business is ever sued and the sheriff needs to knock on somebody's door and serve somebody with a lawsuit, the registered agent is the official entity that receives all of that. It's important that, number one, you don't serve as your own registered agent because you don't want to open yourself up to that. Um, like I said before, all of that information is public information and you can look it up right now. And then on top of that, if you unfortunately are ever served with a lawsuit, you don't want the sheriff knocking on your front door in front of your neighbors and their dog and everybody, you know, because that's an embarrassing situation. So you want to make sure that you set a third party uh, corporate legitimate official business to serve as your registered agent so they can serve as a buffer between you and the outside world. You don't want that embarrassment. You don't want those problems. But more importantly, you want that privacy protection and that anonymity that allow you to let your business flourish. It'll allow you to walk freely and you don't have to, you know, spend your time looking over your shoulder because you don't want people all up in your business. Okay, so that's the first reason. The second reason is just as important. Now, your registered agent, because they're the official entity that receives correspondence for your business from the state, when it comes to yearly regulatory documentation and procedures like a franchise tax or whatever your state's annual reporting system is, that stuff is going to go to the registered agent. And in Texas specifically, and there are many other states that have a similar system, if you don't fill out that annual renewal, if you don't fill out that franchise tax, your business is under a real threat of being shut down. And so what happens in the real world is you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, you're wheeling and dealing, you're going and taking care of business. You might miss out on that one letter that gets mailed once a year. And what will happen is, you know, maybe you spill coffee on it or the kids spill some juice and you just forget that they sent you a letter about your annual renewal and you don't do it. And this is what leads to businesses losing their LLC status. In Texas, it's called an involuntary termination of franchise. This is what leads to you dropping the ball. And before you know it, you're not even a functioning LLC. And then the next thing that happens is somebody starts a legal action against your business and you think you have that protection when you do not because you didn't get that taken care of because you're your own registered agent or you didn't have a good party serving and protecting your business on that front. Um, so the reason why I made this whole video in the first place and I'm bringing it up is because these are the fundamental foundation blocks of your business, making sure that your basics are set up so that your business can run and can thrive and you don't have to worry about number one, privacy, and number two, your yearly regulatory state compliance issues that every business must make sure that they're running smoothly and properly in. Those are two big reasons why I say the registered agent is really, really important and you got to make sure you have that stuff on point. So if you don't have a legit registered agent set up, or if you're serving as your own registered agent, I would highly recommend that you change that. You work with a, a reputable company. And if you're in Texas, feel free to holler at me. I have a, I have a referral for you. I'd love to send you their way because they're a great registered agent and they're going to do great work for you. Okay. So until next time, keep on grinding, keep on hustling, but don't forget money is me business. Peace.